Alright lads, so it's been a couple hours since we actually reacted to the actual characters, a new banner in Bleach Brave Souls, the new Midman banner is a premium healing banner, like all three characters here are all healers, we have a new Hanataro, the first premium canon version of Hanataro in the game as a 5 slash 6 star character, Retsu with her Shikai, the first one in like 7 years, the, like this is basically a remake of OG Retsu, and then we also have Orihime in her Shuhak show. Hopefully I said that right. I think I did. Which is something that I've always wanted. I think a lot of us also wanted that too, but it I didn't think it would ever happen. But here it is. All three cards are actually pretty good for a mid-month character. So I'm excited here to see their visuals because I do want all three characters. Now I'm not gonna be summoning, and I don't recommend anyone summon on this banner. Uh, but you know, if we ever eventually get them later down the line as a ticket or you know, a future banner. I'm going to be happy to pull these characters, especially Hanata because he is actually a Link slot and also a Joplin character. So with that said, let's jump into the reaction video, check out the gameplay, the visuals and stuff like that, and also rank them like we normally do. In the comments below though, let me know which visuals you were most impressed by. Who do you like the most in terms of the visuals? Again, I don't know just yet, we're about to find out just now. Alright, Akuchan, let us, let us see the heat. What we got here first? What we got here first? Who are we showing first? The healer summons Benevolence. I'm uh, very excited to see us return back to Soul Society too, because we don't have we don't have much characters from this particular arc. So um, we're starting off with Hanataro. Interesting. Um, model looks cool. Definitely an upgrade because again, Hanataro hasn't had a new character in years. And the canon ones we do have are four stars and three. I think it's a four star. So it's the tag team one, actually. So yeah, it won't even like an action. This is like the first actual just canon Hanataro in general, besides the two star. <laughs> so it is cool though. So in regards to Hanataro, he's basically just an epic grade character. You want to use him to farm droplets and also link slot potions. His droplet skill, the 30% droplet, it's actually a soul trait. So you could actually use a, let's say, droplet character. And if you pulled the most recent Toshiro from from the last banner and also this Hanataro, then you can basically have three droplet characters in one, which I guess is kind of cool. You get those extra bit of droplets. Um, I don't think it's toxic, uh, mainly because I don't think anyone is going to ask for lobbies. Quickly, let me before we watch it. I don't think anyone's ever going to host an epic raid lobby or a droplet lobby and say, "Listen, I want you to bring droplet characters with droplet links or kick." I doubt we're ever going to get to that point. Let's check out the gameplay. So. Okay, I had a time always got this goofy ass gameplay, bro. So he's literally not even using his or his Zumpuk toe. Can he even attack with his Zumpuk toe? He can't. So he's using his uh, sheath. Like it's got the sheath on it, I guess. So that's kind of cool. And he does have a little backpack on. His SA1 is a lunge forwards. I can't believe we're gonna have to, we're kind of forced to play with this character to farm epic raids. Like, we're unironically gonna be using Hanataro. But at least his damage output's good, so that's not too bad. His SA2 is at 800 AoE around him, or in front of him, sorry. It is a heal, so it's actually very nice. And it's just him going onto the floor, getting on his knees, and then his SA3 is just him scavenging his box or his bag just to get pills. It, it's goofy, but I mean, what can you get expect from a Hanataro, right? Moving on, now we have his soul bomb, Vermilion Hisagomaru. Okay, which again also heals. Okay. Oh, he whipped it out. He's got the the the, the, the zampo toe, the shikai. <laughs> what do you call it? It's a scalp. Look at it. It becomes this blood. That's cool though. I think that's a good way to show his shikai. His zampo toe, he can't attack, so he just builds up the gauge, and then it becomes a little scalper. I think that's what you call him, scalps, scalpers. I don't know. But that's cute. It, it's a fun special. Hanataro is a fun character. I'm for it. I'm for it. Uh, I definitely will have fun playing with character when it comes to playing him in Epic Raids. But next up, we have Orihime. Look at that model. Her face looks a bit round, to be fair. She looks a bit weird there. Mainly because her model is kind of like the TLA art character, but then obviously it's set in Soul Society, so there's a bit of like an uncanny valley about that, like a mixture of both styles. But she looks cute, and I'm excited. Again, she's wearing the, the Sorry But outfit. That's why I, I always wanted it. Didn't think we'd get it, but here it is, right? I'm very excited for that. Now, she is a pretty interesting character because, again, she does have a 30% full stamina damage soul trait. Alongside that, she has the extra bit of recharge at full stamina. She has a very powerful SA3. And then she also has 20% more damage when at full stamina, so essentially taking it to 50%. She has a lot of good skills and a lot of great things about her. Uh, but the problem with her right now is, like, she has Quincy kill. And it's kind of like she kind of just fits into a weird like spot like where would you actually use her for the most part? But hey, if you like the character you could use her have a bit of fun 
No harm in that. So check out the visuals. Excited to see what they do here. Oh, Night String looks nice, though. So she's using Zubaki, right? I like it. I actually really like that Night String. We've seen Orihime may have some attacks like that, but very rarely do you get to see the fairies, or whatever you call them, or like uh, the actual p little people, <laughs> the little Utes in the actual attacks. Because if you do pause it, you can see uh, you can see the little people. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have to go with I'm pretty sure it's Tsubaki, though. So SA1 looks right. Not too bad. SA2, again, coming out quite fast. Is it the same one? So I think she's just using the same one to attack, right? Which I believe is that makes sense. I do like the little after effects, though, of the attack. Like, you can actually see it fly back to a hairpin. That's a really nice, like, attention to detail. And then at SA3, also, it's her getting on her knees. And actually, the soul bomb, Koten Zanshun. Okay. All right. All right. I, it's literally, I'm blood. It's literally her fake out animation. <laughs> I wonder, I'm pretty sure they just use the, because I, I already got PTSD. Every time we summon, we see the Orihime fake out. And now when I play with this character, I have to hear the exact same quote of her saying, well, it makes sense what she said it, right? But love the hair. That, it's PTSD. I literally have PTSD from that. It's mad. But yeah, honestly, pretty fun character, all things considered. Again, I do like the outfit she's wearing. This is something I always wanted. And I think the visuals for this character, very basic Orihime. It's literally just her using Tsubaki to attack her abilities, right? But at the same time, it looks good. It looks unique. Again, like I mentioned, what I really like about the character is the, the little artifact detail of the fairy flying back into a hairpin. That's really cool. I love stuff like that. Dare I say this is probably the best looking Orihime in the game? Maybe the Soul Bomb isn't the best. I think Flowers in Your Blood War Orihime still has the best Soul Bomb for any Orihime because it's more so a big moment. But I like it. I think she's actually quite cool. I'm actually fairly impressed with this particular character. Moving on though, let's look at Retsu. Uh, Retsu, again, definitely has an upgraded mode there. She's looking kind of seductive there. All right, Ratsu. A bit too early to be looking at me like that. Uh, but this Ratsu essentially is an, a Guild Quest character. That's what she is. She is currently, from my point of view, from my opinion, she's the best range of Sparta Killer in, for Guild Quest right now because weakened defense, you can give a double weakened defense. She has a really good damage output. She's going to be inflicting paralysis, heal your entire team. She's good. She has some value to be had. Like, there is some value to be had with this banner and in this particular character. At the same time, you could bring it into Arena and actually have a bit of fun with there if you want to use a, a red suit in Arena, for example. Uh, but but right now, Ranger Sparta doesn't have that many good leads, and Retsu is basically the best lead. For a mid month premium character, that's good. I like it. So, Naturing, um, very similar to her original version, but looks way better. So, obviously, that's what we're going to ex probably expect here. Uh, SA1, again, just using Keto. Not too bad. SA2, more Keto. We're just going to see basically a Keto based Retsu. Uh, the visuals are pretty good, to be fair. It's a good strong attack, what to do, fair. Ooh! Little drive-by with Minazuki on the SA3. I like it. I like it. I like Minazuki. We haven't really seen Minazuki much. We've seen him more so in seasonal outfits of him being like a mechanical droid and stuff like that. But look at that. That is big. That is big. That is a really cool SA3. I do like that. And it just does like a keto attack after it. That's kind of cool. So check out the special. Man, man ate me and spat me out. I like it. I like it. That's cool. Again, it's just nice to see the comparison of like seven years later, right? Compare this soul bomb, which has a lot going for it. It's very simple. It's just him. It's man like Minizuki healing us, right? Compare that to this. <laughs> Like, Bleach Brace just might not have the best graphics for a 2022 game. Again, it came out seven years ago, right? The graphics aren't going to get drastically better over time. But what we are seeing is that Kelo are putting, you know, they've gotten much more skilled when it comes to making their sub animations. And we can see that exactly with here. Minizuki eating us. Spits us out. I like the movement of Minizuki there. This is a really cool shot. Like, it, again, Retro's model just really nice here. I'm a fan of it. And then she goes back into this, like, the normal sealed form of the Zanpakuto. It's cool. I'm a fan of this. I like Retsu. I'm, I'm actually pleasantly surprised with this particular banner, to be fair. Like, I know it's an easy skip, right? Regardless of what they did in this banner. Listen, if it was Ichigo in his visored mask, if it was Aizen, or if it was a Biyaki, if it was anything, like, super hype, even if they had Havoc, even if they had some, even if they were super links of characters, 
it's always a skip. Premium banners are skips. It's that very simple, right? Regardless how good or bad they are, it's always going to be a skip. You save your orbs for the limited banners like Fowers, New Bad War, or Spirits are there with you. In this case, though, I think the characters are all pretty fun. I think the visuals are all great, even Retsu's case. I'm excited to play with all three of them if I ever can get my hands on them in sometime in the future, which will happen. They are premium. They will eventually be thrown to banners. You'll get them from tickets, for example. And yeah, Retsu's going to be a great leading guild quest for the Ranger Spider Week. You can have a bit of fun with her in Arena if you do want to work on her there. Hanataro is going to be a must-have for farming epic raids for the most part. I think I'm still going to use Noel over him. They've either get him 5-5 in the future. He is a premium character that will eventually happen someday. Then I will be using him. We'll clear fast and we're getting those extra bit of droplets and also links or potions. And then Orihime, again, a bit of the weird one because she isn't really designed for any specific content for the most part. Maybe she'll have a floor in Senkamon, but at the very least, she is a 30% full stamina damage soul trait for any mind character. So all three characters here have value in my opinion. Now, who do I like the most in terms of the visuals? Um, probably oh, is a tough one. Hanataro, eh. I like this, but I like the saw bomb, but the uh, SA one, two, and three was just kind of okay. Uh, Retsu, I did like the SA three and saw bomb to be fair, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with Orihime mainly just for the whole entire strong attack here. Her saw bomb really didn't impress me that much, but the strong attack one, two, and three, and the night string with the animations being that fluid, and again for a basic Orihime. This looks to be one of the better Orihimes in terms of the visuals. So I'm probably going to go Orihime as number one in terms of the visuals. Retsu number two. And then Hanatara number three. But I think all three characters have some good visuals there. So in the comments below, let me know what you lads think about these particular characters in terms of the visuals. Because we already talked about the characters early today. Uh, but I think they're all pretty good. It's a skit, but they are some pretty good characters. With that said, hope you lads enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.